So today we're going to start with showing you how to do some techniques that give a lovely texture and I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of water onto my paper in an area where I want to use the textures and we're going to do cling film and bubble wrap so that you can see some different effects that it gives. Now if you're outside and you're thinking oh there's some big rocks to paint over there you might just be putting on the colour wet into wet in the shape of those rocks straight away. Make the colours quite strong so as you can see I'm just going into the quite strong colour in my palette here and getting that nice and dark. This can be done onto dry paper or wet paper it really doesn't matter. And then your cling film you take Always make sure that you tear this off before you start because it will take you a few minutes to get it off the roll sometimes. And then just scrunch it up loosely and place that down onto the paper. And straight away you can see the effect that it makes. So where the paper, the cling film touches the paper, you get these dark patterns and then leave little gaps in between, you get the light patterns. So that is left for a few moments to dry um, before you take it off. If you take it off now you lose the shape but by leaving that for a few minutes you'll then see later on how it turns out. And the other thing that's quite nice to use is bubble wrap. So with bubble wrap you've got um, obviously the bubble side here and we'll use that side today and you can put that down. This is rather nice when you're doing a painting that might have lots of patterns and things on it so you just take your colours, so I'll just use a little bit of ultramarine and cadmium yellow here. Let's go quite bright with the colours. And then if you've got a little piece of bubble wrap, you just take that, put the bubble side down onto your paint. And then again, you will see that that makes little patterns as you put it down. And while that's drying, it's a good idea just to put a little bit of weight something like a couple of tubes of paint on the top while it dries and then we'll see how they turn out in a few minutes. Right so now our um, cling film and the bubble wrap have dried so all you need to do is just to take off the bubble wrap so there you can see some lovely little spotty effects that it's made and with the cling film just carefully pull it off and there's your rock effect. So those can be used for backgrounds or textures in any paintings but it, it gives you a lovely effect without having to, um, to get the detail done with the brushes.